Engineers have reactivated a nuclear reactor in central Japan and reignited the debate over nuclear power. They initiated the first restart since all 50 reactors across the country were taken offline one by one following the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Government leaders argue they need the electricity generated by the plant to avoid power shortages. The engineers lifted control rods on Sunday night to start up the number three reactor at the OE plant. They confirmed the reactor has reached criticality with a self-sustaining chain reaction. It will start supplying electricity on Wednesday and is expected to be fully operational by the end of the week. The operators shut down the plant 15 months ago for regular inspections. Japanese Prime Minister Yoshiko Noda ordered Kansai Electric Power two weeks ago to restart two reactors. Officials from the government and from Fukui Prefecture will stay at the site around the clock to monitor operations. Many consumers and business people worried they would struggle to get through summer without the source of power. I'm anxious, but I can't live without electricity. The first priority is safety measures. Others argue what happened in Fukushima showed just how dangerous nuclear power can be. Protesters blocked a road leading to the OE plant. 7,000 others marched in a demonstration through central Tokyo. A web of power lines crosses Japan, providing electricity to homes and businesses. The power flowing through some of those lines is, once again, from a nuclear source. Operators say a reactor at the OE plant in central Japan is now supplying electricity. Japan has been without nuclear power since May. All reactors in the country have been offline for regular inspections. The government ordered further checks in response to safety concerns after the accident last year at Fukushima Daiichi. On Sunday, engineers at OE fired up the number three reactor for the first time in 15 months. It reached criticality the next day. Operators from Kansai Electric Power Company hope to supply power starting Wednesday. But workers at the plant had to adjust some turbines, so the operators pushed back their schedule. They say they expect the reactor will reach full capacity next Monday. They're scheduled to restart their number four reactor in about two weeks. Meanwhile, operators of another nuclear facility have switched the power back on. The reactor at the OE plant in central Japan is now supplying electricity. Japan has been without nuclear power since May. All reactors in the country have been offline for regular inspections. The government ordered further checks in response to safety concerns after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. On Sunday, engineers at OE fired up the number three reactor for the first time in 15 months. It's a relief that we can provide electric power to people in the Kansai area. I want the operations to keep going, with safety as the top priority. The engineers say they expect the reactor will reach full capacity next Monday. They're scheduled to restore their number four reactor in about two weeks. NHK World's Hiroki Shigeta reports from the Offside Emergency Response Center in Fukui Prefecture, Central Japan. This center is located about eight kilometers from the oil plant. About 50 officials and engineers from the central government and Kansai Electric are gathered here for a special observation to secure the safety. They are carefully checking the date on the reactor being sent from the power plant. A TV monitor in the newsroom showed how people in the central control room were working. The officials in the offsite center had tense expressions as they waited for the signal that the reactor has finally begun generating power. After checking the condition of the reactor and the turbines, they announced at 7 a.m. that power generation had started. The news was announced across the power plant. The officials continued to check various data on the plant. The government and the utility say no problem has been reported. They say the reactor is continuing to generate power smoothly. Hiroki Shigeta, NHK World, the Osa Center near the oil plant. 
And nuclear power is back here in Japan just as demand is expected to peak. Earlier, Yuko Otani spoke with our commentator Mitsuko Nishikawa, who's been following the story. So what was behind the decision to bring this reactor back online then? Mm -hmm. Well, Kansai Electric, uh, experts at Kansai Electric modeled what the grid would look like if reactors in the region stayed offline through summer. And they estimated that supply would face a shortfall of about 15% in the area. And they believe the restart should eliminate concerns about a power shortage and the effects of that on the economy. And there are 50 commercial reactors across Japan. Reactor number three at Oi is now the only one online. And as we've said, engineers are expected to restart number four later this month. The other 48 reactors will remain offline, offline for the time being as the government and utilities complete their safety checks. I see. So but how sure can the residents be that the government officials have taken the steps necessary to prevent uh, another accident like the one in Fukushima? Right. Well, many Japanese believe the measures adopted so far are insufficient. And they point out that the municipalities that host the plants have not updated evacuation plans. And those plans must follow new government guidelines on disaster prevention, but municipal leaders have not submitted their revisions. And Japanese government officials say they have taken sufficient measures to avoid another nuclear meltdown. And they approved a new safety plan for OI. And it calls for additional facilities, including a quake resistant emergency command center. But workers will take another three years to complete that building. See, so when can people expect the other reactors you have mentioned to be back online? Mm -hmm. Well, government officials want to resume operations after they clear all those safety measures, I mean safety checks. But the accident last year pushed people across the country to join a movement against these plants. Thousands of demonstrators staged rallies in front of the Prime Minister's office, and people at OI formed a human barricade on the road into the plant. Government officials and those at the utilities need to reassure those people and eliminate any distrust. The government cannot allow any other restarts until the creation of a new nuclear regulatory commission. So people here will have to wait to find out when power will flow from plants other than the one at OE. The operators of the OE nuclear plant had to negotiate with government officials at different levels. They dealt with protesters outside their gates. But now one of the reactors is back up and running at full force. It's a force to reach capacity since reactors across Japan were taken offline after the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. Power output at the number three reactor at the plant in Fukui Prefecture reached 100% on Saturday, more than 1 million kilowatts. Engineers restarted the reactor on July 1st. It had been shut down for maintenance for 15 months. On Sunday, a swarm of jellyfish blocked the intake of seawater used to cool the reactor. Operators at Kansai Electric Power Company were forced to reduce output. The jellyfish dispersed. Then engineers went, went ahead with their work. Output reached full capacity early Monday morning. 49 other reactors across the country remain offline. Officials in the community that hosts the plant have been monitoring operations. OE Mayor Shinobu Tokioka watched the plant reach full capacity from the control room with Senior Vice Industry Minister Seishu Makino. I trust the workers to recognize even a tiny sign of trouble. I want them to prevent any kind of mishap and share information with us. The vice governor of Fukui Prefecture expressed his relief. Now we are finally able to fulfill our mission to provide power to the region. The officials promised to work together to keep the plant operating safely. The operator of the OE nuclear plant in Fukui Prefecture, Central Japan, says it's ready to restart a second reactor at the facility next Wednesday. The number four reactor at the plant has been shut down for routine inspections. Kansai Electric Power Company said that it expects the reactor to start generating power on July 21st and to reach full capacity, uh, full output capacity by July 25th. The plant's number three reactor, which was restarted on July 1st, went into full-scale operation on Monday.